Hey guys, and welcome to the Series 1 Winter Event, The Real Deal, which is C600 reasonably, reasonably priced car, I can't speak, priced cars, um, dirt racing. Mm -hmm. Here are the tracks. Uh, nope, you have to do four laps on the last one because, well, it's C600. No. Um... And here are at least some of the cars you can use. Uh, what do you fucking do? Well, let's just get on with this. And, well, if you've watched the Midnight, what's called Midnight Battle thingamajig, you will know that the reason I'm doing this alone is because, well, yeah, I'm an idiot. So, and those who are in the convoy are going, well, why the hell are you using that car and not the one we used in the convoy? Well, because I had a look at this, and you can actually put off-road tires on this instead of stock tires. So we're going to try that. And just to piss FLT off, because remarkably, uh, I was using the Volvo 850 earlier, and there was no flame paint job. Imagine that LT, the Swedish, most Swedish person I know, didn't have a flame job for his own goddamn country's car. So, just to piss him off, we're gonna go with the, well, it's not the Golf, it's a Volkswagen GTI. <laughs> it's a Golf, uh, even though the game says it's not. And we're gonna have this pink Powerpuff Girls. Let's see if I can stand this for three races without killing myself. A car I didn't take a photo of, apparently. Hooray! Wow, three cars I didn't take a photo of. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, well. Next. Come on. Well, it's sort of an experiment, this, to see if, well, will it be able to keep up, even though I spent most of the PI on tires. And hopefully, it should be able to. Should certainly be able to outgrip the AI. And, well, as I said, if this doesn't work, then we have the car from earlier. I did really work. Not to work. I have three long laps to do anything about this. Of course, if the AI is going to be three side by side, then it's going to begin to get a little bit tricky getting past them. But we'll just push it. But the Volvo was very slidey, and this is by far more easy to control. It may not be as fast, but that's probably not a bad thing. And I'm sorry for the delay in the videos. I fucked up. Well, no. I think I... Yeah, I think I agreed in the earlier video with myself that I would blame Snapper. It's his fault. Damn you, Snapper.
you can see it appears to be working just fine. Oh, for fuck's sake, shut up, phone. Sell some more cigarettes because I still go right now. Somebody smoked them all. What the hell is going on? Yeah, 12 seconds, 6 seconds a lap. I'd say that's okay. I can definitely live with that. And onwards and upwards. Uh, where the fuck's the next one? One up here. Right, let's do that. And the Oh yeah, it's winter. All right. say that this is on highly skilled uh, because you can't change the difficulty so if anybody tells you oh well no 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 or if anybody even dreams about commenting well you won't do it on artist or unbeatable or some shit like that uh yeah I don't really care because you can't set the event to unbeatable I mean you can set your ah uh, you can set your difficulty to unbeatable all you like. As soon as you get into the event, if you go to settings, it's gonna be highly skilled. And you can't change that. However, it wouldn't surprise me that there's some sort of bug where if your difficulty is set higher before you go into the event, you then get into the event, it says highly skilled, but you're actually driving whatever your difficulty is set to outside. If that is set to something higher than highly skilled. That wouldn't surprise me one bit. This game has been one fucking disaster after another since release. And this is a so-called triple A, A title. I think it was an indie game made by one person in a garage. Not so much the amount of bugs, well, that's a big part of it, but it's the bugs themselves. I mean, they are nuke bugs. It's, it's stupid things, like, you know, an accolade for a card that isn't in the game. How the fuck did that make it through all the way through development? And everybody said, oop, that's fine, it's fine. And I assume there has been, despite what I keep making fun of, uh, there has been some beta testing going on, I would imagine. And yet, still, it's there. 
That's rather amazing, actually. You could get the impression that uh, either they don't give a shit or that it was very much a brush job. Or there is also the possibility that it, the accolades were created on a car list, uh, using a car list that wasn't the finished car list, and they simply used the one from Forza Horizon 4. Especially, well, there's some credence to that because all the barn find cars from Forza Horizon 4 are in the auction house at least are listed as barn finds in this one uh, which also sort of underlines the fact uh, or well, again brings a little bit of credibility to uh, the thing i've been shouting uh, from the rooftop since well since before release that it was a copy paste job they simply copied most, if not all, of what is it? oh, she's not even like crap. Uh, if not all of Forza Horizon Four, and then add in a new map, stuff like that. Tweak the graphics a little bit. I mean, the accolades is based on the exact same thing as in the Lego expansion in Four, where it was well, it was bricks in the Lego expansion, right? Uh, and here it's accolades. Same shit, different pile. But the amount of bugs is staggering. And the known bug list is just growing and growing and growing and growing. There doesn't seem to be any, you know, huge fix right around the corner. I mean, the, the last time, or the uh, the only fix that's been sent out so far is that so-called hotfix. Uh, the 5.3 gigabyte hotfix. Mm -hmm. uh, and they announced that like a week ahead of time. Oh, we're working on hotfix. We're definitely working on hotfix. And then a few days later, oh, there's a slight issue with the hotfix. So we're working on a hotfix for the hotfix. And then I think we got yet another message on uh, that the uh, hotfix will be inbound. Ooh, very short. So they, they like to advertise when they got something in the pipelines. And, well, they haven't been saying anything yet. So, I'm thinking we're not gonna see any form of fixes being rolled out until, uh, until they roll out the new series, series two. Which I don't think is in the game. I, th I think they're going to continue what they did in Forza 4, where every four weeks, roughly, they would send out a new update. And they're going to put the fixes in that. If, that is, if they make any fixes. Apart from the usual, well, crap. Like, ooh. The rear wing on whatever car, if you use the sport wing, it is displayed wrongly when you brake at night or some crap like that. You know, instead of fixing actual big, huge errors. Like they did in Ford, they were very. Oh, Wolf joined the Conrad, that's nice. Fuck off, Wolf. 
Uh, yeah, whoopee, whoop to do. Get the fuck out of my convoy, cunt. What the hell are you doing in my convoy? Get out. I just love this, and I do believe that my convoy privacy is set to invite only. Thank you. It's like being invaded by the Germans again. But no, they did in, in Forza Horizon 4, they sent out an update once <laughs> where one of the fixes was that if you're inside the cabin, by like carpet view, in one of the Lamborghini Urises, it was unable to show 8th gear. And they were so proud about fixing that that they put it in the release notes. <laughs> And the other one was... What the hell was it? I think it was a McLaren where if you change the rear, uh, rear wing the brake lights weren't... Uh, uh, they would follow the original spoiler. So you'd have some LEDs in the middle of nowhere. They were very proud of that as well. So I think we're going to see a lot of those fixes because there's a shitload of those on the known bugs list. Especially concerning the Toyota RC and who gives a crap. I mean, I would much, much rather that they fix the accolades for, or something. I mean, something meaningful. Who the fuck gives a crap about a rear spoiler on the Toyota or... Yeah, shit like that. Anywho, that was the end of that one. And, well... The car I was using was the 1998 Volkswagen, not a Golf at all, GTI VR6 Mark III. It's the Mark III GTI. Totally not the Mark III Golf. No, no, no. It's not a Golf. <sighs> yeah. And the tune I was using, and I don't think I saved it yet. No. So, I will... And just for the record, yes, it is a golf. Uh, there we go. One four four two nine seven six six zero. And that's it for this one. Uh, remember, if you use one of my tunes, please remember to like it. The same goes for the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.